<sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Right? Uh, that was a barn. Stay there. I got it. guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Well, at least he left us the junker. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Did he really have to smash everything? He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. This place upside down. At least you were spared. Asshole even dumped the drawers. I might have found something. <sighs> Great. More to clean. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah, what the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm, where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Hmm. None of the valuable. Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt for chickens. She was always saying how she was going to make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. He made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. Person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. 
Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? That's it. Look, it's the same symbol, the secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers.
did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. What a mess. Fuck. That's rough. This... This guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. Where did he even come from? I didn't notice any cars on the way in. He bailed behind the barn. After that, your guess is as good as mine. Should be easy to see where he went because of the snow, right? Unless, you know, he was wearing hover shoes. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I tripped. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was...
there was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try.
I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison! 